I'm gonna tell y'all a story. <laughs> this dude with some cracked up, chappy lips looked under the bed. This dude drive you somewhere. No signs, no houses, a straight cabin. <laughs> this extends. Paul. Oh. You want this word? You wanna warm up your voice in my backyard? You can catch his hand. Okay. What? Oh! <laughs> Alright, so if you don't know what we do here, we come on here, search up scary animations. What comes up, I watch. This is actually one of my favorite series. Um. I see that y'all been liking it, so why fix what's not broke? Wait, is that what they say? Ha ha ha! What we got today is cream. Huh? What did you say, nigga? Pause. Stop motion animated short film by the Animation Workshop. All the animations will be in the description, so go show love to them for, you know, just... <laughs> I thought I was the ankle breaker. Get your ankles broke. That's the actual ankle breaker. <laughs> it's not an ASMR. Look at. I'm trying. Whoa. Can I even show that? Bro, I'm really about to get you. Dude. I'm blurring that out. What you looking at? Ice cream. Why you did him like that? Ugh. Boonga ain't kick. Pause. Are they looking at me? Bruh. You're not making no progress with that. Thanks. Nasty. Yeah, nasty.
What the? Whoa! Whoa! This is how we started? Dude died from eating ice cream. Like, what ice cream was that? We got a whole floating ball of human with another... Old lady come in, drag her out of her chair, and then she pushed her out the window and have a whole baby. The next one is called I made the creepiest friend at the deep web will be on the deep when I was a teenager I would often explore the deep web with my friends specifically weird stuff on the hidden wiki bro I apologize if I'm seeming like I'm pausing it every second but what is this what is this right here? Look at the, no, look at the screen. How does, how does Google just, you just deep web? I never got that. What's, what's the point of calling it the deep web if you just go onto the internet and look up creepy stuff? And then the title is, I made the creepiest friend. If you're calling them friend, then they're too close. No, sir, not for me. I'm not, I don't want a piece of that cake. Hidden wiki. There were definitely a lot of links to choose from. I never clicked on the violent links because I'm not into that. My friend Latrice told me to click on one that says new best friend. After doing so, it takes you to a page where you have to make a profile. I put the name Lisa on my profile. My real name is Susan. Mm. Once I made the profile, you are directed to a main page that has categories. They were silly, serious, smart, and smothering. We clicked smothering. I thought it was funny. After choosing, there was a list of people with their pictures, male and female. I clicked on a profile of a guy that had the name five, like the number five. I entered and it didn't seem like someone who would be a smothering friend. When I was searching through his profile, I received a message from him asking if I were looking for a friend. I looked at Latrice and she laughed, but also told me to respond yes. So we're messaging back and forth for maybe 30 minutes and then Latrice had to go. I told him I'll be back on tomorrow and he said okay. Maybe a week went by where I would talk to him every night. He seemed very nice so we exchanged numbers so we could talk more. What's wrong with you? Fine until I clicked on another profile and someone else messaged me. I started talking with this other person, but still was texting the guy five, which I knew his real name now as William. The new guy had the name Bill on his profile. A day went by and he seemed cool, but then William randomly asked me why I was talking with Bill. I didn't know what to say, so I never responded. He kept texting with angry messages, so I blocked him. I didn't receive any Bro. texts, only a single message on that site, and it said soon. One day after school, my friend Latrice came over to have a sleepover. We got comfortable, went to my room. She comes over to do this. <laughs> and 
did our usual of surfing through the web, being nosy. I brought up that guy. Then I received a text message that said, why'd you block me from a random number? I replied with a question mark. Then he replied, it's me, William. He texted me from another number after I blocked him. You can't trust him. I told Latrice how creepy this guy is. Then Latrice stopped me from talking because she thought she heard something. Then I heard a voice. I'm not that creepy. We both responded by screaming and looking around. I saw someone coming from under my bed. We ran screaming out of my room and my mother called the cops. They didn't get him because he left through my window and nothing could be traced back to him. I'm starting to think that he was both of the people I was talking to. That definitely opened my eyes to the dangers of the internet. I would never visit the dark web again. Y'all you know, know how I feel about this. People just making slow decisions. Now, if that was me, personally, if I was a woman in that perspective, and I saw a dude crawling from under the bed, it's two ladies, this is what I'm doing. I I'm doing this with my foot. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Did, was, did I miss something? How did he find your address? Are you that? Next animation. The next one we have um, is just called Someone Broke Into Our House. <laughs> Let's start it. This story happened when I was only around nine years old. We lived in a basic two-story house in a very small village with only about a hundred people. Okay. Wait, what? Every year. On the 4th of July, our village had the fireworks show and all the people went to the community park to watch it together. I'm not about to live somewhere with a hundred people. You know, it's, I don't know what y'all would like to do. Like, would you live with a lot of people or a little? Personally, if you're going to live with that less amount of people, you might as well just live somewhere like far away from everybody. There's... Work show and all the people went to the community park to watch it together okay. but i couldn't go that year because i had just recently broken my arm and the doctor told me not to go to any public places for about a week which i was really bummed about what i mean you go to school just to give you a basic layout of our house our living room was connected to our front door if you keep walking forward you would have got into the kitchen Take a left from there, and that's where my room was on the first mm, floor. Okay. Anyway, when it was about 8 o'clock p.m., all of my family went to the park. I was in the living room and started watching some cartoons. About half an hour had passed. I was getting tired, so I turned off the TV and went to my bedroom. I took off my glasses and started to oh doze off. Oh my gosh. Off. I was almost asleep when I heard the front doorknob turning. That's the creepiest thing ever. You know, if you if you notice, you know, I ain't wearing no glasses. <laughs> You're dirty. You're doo-doo butter. I'm not gonna need these for a while. So y'all gonna see me like this for a good minute. But waking up in the middle of the night, you're pretty much, your vision is not as good as like regular people that don't need anything. And you're hearing something when nobody's home. For, hold up, I'm, am I missing something? You're, 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 she's finna fall asleep by herself at the house. I was almost asleep when I heard the front doorknob turning. Bruh. I thought it was my family getting back from the park. So I got up and looked out of my room. I hadn't put my glasses back on, so everything was a bit blurry. But I could see clearly that there was only one person in the window. Seeing that not everybody was in front of the door, I felt a little scared. So I shut my bedroom's door and went back to my bed. But then, I heard the door open and then close. I immediately noticed that I didn't lock the door which my mom had asked me to do before she left. Now I came out, you are- Oh! <laughs> 
I wanted to punch myself. Do it. Then I heard a faint voice say, Hello, is anybody home? I have some candy. I can give it to you if you want. Just come out of the room that you're in. And then look at her stand up. Where are you finna go? You ain't put no glasses on. You see it right beside you. I want to flame you, but it's like you ain't do nothing wrong yet. She she left the whole door unlocked. I'm home. I have some candy. I can give it to you if you want. Just come out of the room that you're in. I quickly got off my bed and hid under it. Mm -hmm. I tried to be as quiet as possible, but because of my arm, it hurt so bad that I started crying. At the time, I didn't have a cell phone, so it was impossible to call the police. The man was walking towards the kitchen. Soon, he opened my room's door, and I covered my mouth to not make any noises. I saw the man walk up to my bed and stop. He leaned all the way down slowly, and then I saw his face. He had chapped lips and a really scruffy chin. Why is she over here? I'm gonna tell y'all a story. <laughs> this dude with some cracked up, chappy lips looked under the bed. <gasps> and he was smiling. My heart dropped. I hit my arm on my bed frame and grabbed me out from under my bed. And next, Sir. he made me stand up. He said, Why don't you come with me? I have lots of candy at my house. Which made me so scared. I couldn't move or say anything but just cried while he stared at my face. He then picked me up and started carrying me outside. Whoa! I kicked... Whoa! Sir! Sir! <laughs> oh my! Oh my gosh! Sir! Look at him! He's been on something. Carrying me outside, I kicked and screamed. He tried to get in the white van. He tried to open the door and I managed to fall loose and landed right on my Dang. back in the grass. I got up as quick as I could oh, yeah. and made a run all the way to the park. He really wanted it. Wanted what? I found my family and told them everything that just happened to me while crying. My dad called the police as we got in the car to go to the hospital since I felt so much pain in my arm. All that I remember was I had woken up in a hospital bed with a different colored cast on my arm. After that, we got home and the police were still there. They caught the man under my bed. They said that he was probably waiting for me to come back home. He no. actually had a criminal record of pedophilia. We could see. Assault, we could see. We could murder. see. And we could see. He said that he had My... escaped two days ago and they've been looking for him since. My family has moved to a bigger town since then. Good. I hate to think about what might have happened if I wasn't able to get loose of his grip. But it comes to my mind every day. Sir. Okay, y'all. If I need to list three things. If you don't lock your door, have curtains over your windows, or um, and if you go on the deep web, I can't trust you. I'm sorry. Like... If you're a watcher and you do any of those things, just listen to me. Well, you're gonna have to get blocked. Jesus Christ. Alright, if you enjoyed this reaction, these this reaction series, just like this video. Um, you know, we get Liddy on the channel. If you're new, just subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Come chill. Um, road to 1k, you know, gang, gang. Dextorian babies. <laughs> Shut up, your airline's gone.